Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Vinny again here. Um, today, I'm gonna show you guys how to do front brakes on a 2006 Acura TL. All right guys, before we get into this video, I'm just gonna show you everything you're gonna need to complete the uh, front brakes on an 06 Acura TL. So, uh, I'll start off on the right. You're gonna need to have a jack to jack the car up if you don't have a lift, two jack stands. You want the uh, wheel blocks in the back so the car doesn't roll. Um, over here, you're gonna need a brake suction tool with a compressor, obviously. You got your air tools, uh, half inch and three, three eighths uh, gun. You're gonna have a 17 millimeter swivel and a 14 millimeter swivel. Pair of glasses, some big uh, pliers. You want a big hammer to bang the screws off with this uh, Phillips head screw tool thing. Um, you're gonna want to have a brake pad again with these pliers to push the piston in You're gonna have a pick tool and some power lube to uh, Lube up the piston inside the caliper if uh, if you need to do that um, You have a wire brush for cleaning the calipers and everything and the hubs And you're gonna have a this is just a breaker bar with like a 17 to break those bolts loose if they don't come off um, and to get the wheels off, you're gonna want a 19 millimeter socket. So um, I'll just hold the video here if you wanna pause it to see whatever you need. Here's your moment. All right, um, and you also need brake grease and brake fluid and rags. So uh, that's pretty much everything right, you so need. so here we are. Here's the uh, 2006 Acura TL. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do um, is pull this plastic cover up. There's a little tab back here and you're just gonna kind of lift it as you get this tab out um, Actually, there's another tab over here and as you get them out this will show where your brake fluids at right here what We're gonna do is take the cap off Make sure you don't lose the cap and we'll put the cap down like somewhere over here um, and leave the fluid in there for right now until we are uh, until we replace the brakes. All right, next step, uh, if you're in a driveway like me, you're gonna wanna block off the wheels in the back so the car doesn't roll when you uh, jack it up. Or if you have a lift, then you can just put it up with a lift. All right, so if you're in a driveway and you gotta jack the car up, um, or if you're lifting it on a lift, this is where on a 2006 Acura TL and most Hondas and Acuras have this tab. This is where you're gonna uh, jack up the car. So you're gonna line that up. Also, if you look on here, there's an arrow and there should be one in the rear. If you ever have to jack up the rear, just to show you guys, there's another tab right here that sticks down. Now, if that tab is not there, then there's there's another further up well you can see along here is also acceptable but just beware this can bend very easily um, and again right here is the arrow pointing to this i'm just gonna slowly jack this up all right just so you guys can see that's the lift point for the also front one thing make sure the e-brake is up all right once you get the car jacked up uh, the place of choice for me is along the frame here um, for the jack stand. So it's going to be kind of see where the lift's at and where the jack stand's at. Same thing's going to be for the other side. Here we are on the uh, passenger side of the car. Um, your jack stand is going to go right there along the frame. And the jack is we go right on the tab again, right where the arrow is. Right, next step's gonna be to remove the wheels. Uh, for this, you're gonna need a 19 millimeter socket. It should fit right on there. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the wheels. All right, next step is, uh, we're gonna basically be taking this caliper completely off because we're replacing both the, the brake pads and the rotor. So um, the first thing that you're gonna need is a 14 millimeter swivel or straight socket. I prefer the swivels, it's a little bit easier. That's a 14. The, uh, two 14 millimeter bolts. This should just slide up like so. And we're just gonna lay it up here for right now. All right, I'll just sit it right there. And you can go ahead and peel the pads off. 
the pads off, if you look around the back of the caliper, um, you're gonna see a bolt up here and a bolt right down here. This is a 17 millimeter. I recommend a 17 uh, millimeter swivel. Um, again, it's a, it gets a little tight with if you have a gun back here. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna go take a uh, go ahead and take those two uh, 17 millimeter bolts Get out. The 17 millimeter bolts out. I'm gonna pull the bottom of the caliper off. I'm just gonna show you what we're gonna clean real quick. This is uh, the metal uh, shim that the pads slide on, and you can see how they're kind of dirty. So I'm going to clean them real quick. I'm gonna get a wire brush. I'll show you how I do it. All right, so we have the bottom half of the caliper here. Um, this is where the pads sit on that part of the metal and the part of the metal right here. Um, you're just gonna get a wire brush and you wanna uh, scrape all the debris and stuff. So we're gonna go, go ahead and do that. You can also use some brake cleaner if you want. And they should start, you should start to see all this stuff scratch right off. And you're gonna clean these up really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, now that we got the uh, caliper clean, that's what it should look like. All right, brand new. All right, now we're gonna take our brake grease over here. All right, and I usually put a light coat right on the bottom part and a little bit on each side. I'll show you what that looks okay. like. This is what it looks like with the brake grease on there. All right, next step, um, we're gonna pull the slider pins out. Now this is a really important step as well because um, you wanna make sure these are clean. Hold on, I'm gonna make sure these are, are clean and uh, slide freely. So once you pull them out of the boot, you're gonna wanna get a rag, you're gonna wipe this all off. Um, if there's any rust or anything, I recommend, again, getting like a, a lighter um, wire brush or a wire wheel and grinding down any corrosion or any debris that's all on right, this. So that's what it should look like once it's all cleaned. And that's what it should look like when you grease it back up. So what you're gonna do once they're greased back up is stick them back in. Oh, let's try not to drop the whole caliper. Okay. And you're gonna squeeze the boot to get some of that air out. Okay, and then we'll just wipe a little bit of that off. Any excess that comes out. Um, next step, now, now that we have the bottom half of the caliper prepared to go back on, um, since everything's off, we will go ahead and remove this rotor. And to do that, you're going to need to take out these rusty screws. So, uh, this, is this, I think, is called a Phillips head impact tool something. So what you do is you're going to put this on here. You're going to put it right in there. and you smack the back of this with the hammer and it twists a little bit. It kind of like, kind of like jolts itself to break uh, like these kinds of screws loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let's see if I can lay the camera, show you guys. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your tool, put it in there. I'm gonna hit the back of this with the hammer and I'm gonna twist it to the left a little bit with my hand just to kind of assist it uh, to break these loose. A lot of times they do get rusty and they're hard to get off. go these ones came off a lot easier than normal um, you can also uh, spray some power lube in there to get that off um, and worst case scenario if you end up stripping out the inside of one of these what you'll have to do is get a you'll have to get like a uh, a punch like a pointy punch and you're gonna have to like smash like a little dent into like the side of it like on the edge and then kind of have to get the punch tool that you're you know hammering this with and you're gonna have to work it off kind of and unscrew it so just be careful with these um, they are they are a pain in the ass to get off okay and then once you have those two screws out um, basically the rotor should be free so we're just gonna pull it off and if it's not free and you need to bang it off if you're replacing them it's okay to hammer it all around the edge if if uh, that's if you're replacing it if you're not replacing these and you plan on cutting them do not hit this with a hammer I repeat don't hit this with a hammer the way to get them off if they're stuck on is what I what I like to do is put uh, the lug nuts back on in like two spots so you don't hit the threads with a hammer and you can tap right around here with the hammer or like anywhere in between here 
just a little bit, you know, to kind of break break it free. All right, next step is you're gonna get a wire brush before you put the new rotor on. And you see all this uh, rust and shit on the back of this. You want to uh, scrape all that off so that the rotor sits as flat as it can to the hub and it won't cause any vibrations, pulsations, or any weird stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and take this wire brush, start scraping away. Right, once you have that cleaned up, you have your old rotor, you got your new rotor. You wanna line up these holes, the screw holes, with the screw holes on here. So take note where the hole is on the hub, take note where the hole is on the rotor. Go ahead and get this on. Like that. Okay. Make sure your screw holes lined up and put the screws to, uh, in. Tighten these screws up. Um, I just forgot to mention, this uh, is a Phillips size three. This bit is a Phillips size three. I'm not sure if I mentioned that already. I don't think I did. Um, but if you're looking for the right size that fits in these bolts the best, it's a size three Phillips. Um, next step is we're gonna put the bottom half of the caliber back on. Um, since we already have it prepared, um, it's just gonna go straight on. So you're gonna hold the caliper with the uh, pins facing on the inside of the car. And you're gonna put it over there, put it back on. And then you're gonna grab your 17 millimeter bolts and put those in. All right, um, now you're gonna get your new pads. And you're gonna lube just basically, you're gonna put brake grease right on the tips of them like this. Just like that on both sides. That's the only part of the pad that's really gonna be touching the rotor like at all times. Um, and that's what, it's, that's what they slide on. So you wanna make sure that's greased pretty decent. It has a metal squealer. That's what that thing is called right here. Um, that is the indicator of when your brake pads get low, this metal piece right on the edge, once the pads wear that low, that starts to scrape on your rotor. And that's what that squealing noise is when your brakes are going bad or they're old or whatever. So um, this usually on Hondas and most other cars, uh, Acuras, Hondas, Toyotas, on a, most, a lot of cars, this pad goes on the inside. Seat the bottom in there first. And then the top, it kind of can push the, kind of can angle the back in a little bit and then the front. And then it goes right in like that. It should be good, no play there. And again, we we have both the pad and this metal shim um, on the caliper bracket, both uh, greased up. Other pad, put that in there, like that. Okay, there and you these go. brake pads come with these metal uh, springs which helps separate the pads um, while you're braking so they don't like rub up on the rotor the whole time so there's just a little hole in each one of these pads on each corner and I'll show you this is what they look like they're kind of springy you're going to place it in the hole like that right there and the other hole is right down here put them in there and they're gonna just slide in like that and that's what it should look like when you're finished. You don't need those uh, springs in there, but um, if you do have them, I mean, I would say, I would recommend, you know, putting them in there, but it, it, it is not um, mandatory to have these in there, if you guys are wanting. This next step's gonna be a little hard to show you um, on, on camera, but you're gonna take an old brake pad or whatever you got and lay it in against the piston so what we're gonna basically be trying to do is push this piston back into the caliper. So you don't ever wanna get a pair of pliers or anything or a clamp and go right on the piston because you can damage it. You just wanna put something like basically an old pad and then you're gonna grab a big pair of pliers, open them up and I usually go like this. You can do it on here. You can do it on that nut on the end, but I would not recommend it. And when you get it on there, let's see if I can. Yeah, I'm squeezing it and you see how the piston's going back in? That's what I'm talking about, that grip strength though. Anyways, so yeah, you're gonna squeeze it back in until it's flush. And there you go. Now it's back in. 
Now there's also one other thing. We can take a pick and go behind this boot a little bit. If if this is if this piston's not going in as easy, you can get a pick, like a little pointy pick, and peel back the um, boot on here, and you can spray power lube behind this as well. It'll help it um, free up. So I'll show you guys how to do that real quick. But I got the pick, and I'm just behind the boot. I could just pull it off a little bit, just up a little bit, and I'm gonna get my power lube right here. I'm gonna stick the tip of that right in there, and I'm gonna just spray it up a little bit. Put that in there. There you go, just a little bit. You pull that out, and that'll just help uh, the piston, or I guess it'll help prevent the piston from uh, seizing up as easily, or if it was a little dry or rusty behind it, that'll um, kind of be like a little fix for the time being. All right, next you're gonna get the caliper and slide that back on, and you're gonna see it might not go on, just don't forget to push the pins in. And then if this bubbles up, you can kind of pinch it up a little bit, let out any air. That's, that's back on. Now we're just gonna uh, put these two 14 millimeter bolts back in. I'm gonna go ahead and, whoops, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right guys, uh, once you have that all back on, um, just make sure everything's tight again. Um, again, it was the two 17 millimeter bolts right there and there, and the two 14 millimeter bolts there and there. Other than that, everything should be good. You'd be able to put the wheel back on, tighten everything up, and drop it down. All right, so you're gonna repeat the process for both sides. Once you have the brakes complete and the tires on, you're gonna come over here and we're gonna look at the brake fluid. We're gonna use this uh, brake suction tool. We're gonna suck out the fluid and I'm just gonna put new fluid in there. Clean that off real good. Clean rag. And the uh, little strainer thing in there. Um, we're going to go and pump the brake pedal, which is going to push the pistons out that we just pushed in on the calipers. It's going to push them back out and more fluid's gonna, we're gonna, it's gonna be needed uh, in here. So we're gonna have to re-add to this in a minute. I'm gonna pump the brake pedal. You're gonna feel that the first time you push it, it goes all the way to the floor. As you let it out, that fluid is gonna suck down in the uh, wet reservoir farther. So we're gonna keep pumping it. You'll feel now it's starting to get stiff. Okay, that's good. That's a good thing. Meanwhile, uh, remember the car is off, no keys or anything. So I'm gonna pump it a couple times, make sure it's nice and stiff. We're gonna come back over to the car and our fluid level did drop a little bit, right? So that's a good thing. So now we're just gonna add some more fluid to that and uh, top it off and then put the cap back on it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I usually get, I usually get back to you guys pretty quick. Um, again, this is a how to do front brakes on a 2006 Acura TL. Um, yeah, so just leave your questions down below, and um, I hope this helped you guys out, and uh, happy Halloween.